Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this Nikon D7000 DSLR camera kit. We're going to start off with a closer look at the box and as this is a kit you get more than just the D7000 camera from Nikon. You get the camera body, you get the 18 to 200 millimeter VR2 11x zoom lens, you get the system case, the SanDisk 16 gigabyte SDHC memory card, the Nikon School D7000 DVD beyond the basics to give you a little bit more info about taking professional style photos, and also the Nikon School Guide to Digital SLR Photography. Here on the side is an example of the uh, wide angle telephoto lens that is included. 18 to 200 millimeter range. As you can see, here's 18 millimeter. You have a nice wide distant angle, and you can go all the way up to 200 millimeter, and then you can see the crane very close up. Also, you get uh, VR image stabilization. So, just an example down there with image stabilization, you get sharper images. Some more features are listed here on the back as well as an actual layout of all of those products. I'm going to take them all out of the box, so we'll take a closer look then. Uh, the AFS DX uh, Nikkor 18-200mm f3.5-5.6 to G ED VR2 lens. High resolution 16.2 megapixel, that is the uh, megapixel capability of the D3000 that's included. DX format, format CMOS sensor. Uh, you can do full HD 1080p movies. You have a high speed 6 frames per second shooting speed, uh, 921K dots, 170 degree viewing angle 3 inch LCD monitor, large bright glass pentaprism optical viewfinder, fast accurate 39 point autofocus system, 2016 pixel RGB 3D color matrix meter 2 for color metering. Low noise, dynamic ISO range from 100 to 6400 and expandable to up to ISO 25600, which is fairly ridiculous with the sold separately lens. Uh, I also get built-in flash with ITTL flash control. That's intelligent through the lens flash control. Double SD card slots, intelligent power management, and of course, Nikkor lens compatibility, such as the included AFS DX. Now here's an actual look at everything included in the box. So there's your 16 gigabyte SDHC memory card. You also have the Beyond the Basics DVD right there. Learn how to compose breathtaking images and movies with your Nikon D7000. You also have a digital photography guide there, Nikon School, with uh, full color photos and um, you know basics of photography help you do uh, better photography since this is a pretty high-end camera, a DSLR. Now, of course, we also have the lens and the camera body. I'm going to save those for last. We're going to go over the included carrying case, which is right here. Uh, it has leather and mesh as far as the exterior goes. It seems to be quite sturdy. It has a nice carrying handle here at the top. There is a zipper pouch right here for easy access right at the front. You also have these clasps, metal and plastic right there kind of shiny. Oh, I should point out at the bottom also you have some uh, rugged uh, rubber nubs so that we'll sit on that and keep it a little bit raised up off the ground and also make sure that uh, you don't damage the bottom of the bag when you have it setting down. Uh, here inside you have a mesh zipper pocket right there so you can easily view what's stored inside if you're trying to fish out a particular SD card or something like that. And then on the interior uh, we have several different compartments but all of these are modifiable. So all of your little inserts here have Velcro on both ends and can be sort of stuck in whichever way you find to be most appropriate as far as how you're organizing your equipment. So you get sort of a mid-range one, you get a little small one, you get a larger size one. I'm just going to pull all these out. Uh, larger size one here with also additional uh, Velcro on the inside so you can sort of use this as it was set up here in combination with some other ones. And then there's another one right there. So lots of different options for sort of Ranging the inside of this, there's sort of another look at the inside. It's, uh, nice and soft, should keep all of your equipment safe. There's some delicious silica gel. Don't eat that. And finally we have this external pouch right there, which is uh, just a pouch, but there's where you can store some more stuff. Oh, I should also mention, <laughs> I'm forgetting there is a small pouch on the side right there. Also Velcro to keep that closed. You got one of those on either side. There's one there as well. And then finally, of course, you have a carrying strap, so a shoulder strap there for easy transportation.
And here's the contents of the lens box. Again, the AFS DX Nikkor 18 to 200 millimeter F 3.5 to 5.6 G ED VR2. Uh, first off, right here, you have five years of protection. So you get a one year Nikon limited warranty plus four years of Nikon Inc. USA extended service coverage. So a total of five years of protection included there. You just need to send that in to register your product. You also have a manual here, and this is just for the lens. Let me just flip here. There's the English section section right after the Japanese section. So it gives you a full layout of the lens and how to control it. Uh, that's the lens, which I'm saving for last in this part. In this little box, you have some accessories for the lens, including a lens hood, ideal for outdoor shooting, of course. You also get a lens carrying pouch, because lenses are very delicate. You want to treat them with great care. So a nice soft pouch right there to store your lens in, and a little drawstring to uh, close up the pouch. And here's a closer look at the lens. Here, of course, we have a lens cover, so you always want to keep track of that. Uh, I'm going to leave it on, so we'll keep the lens nice and protected. And uh, again, you have quite a range for zoom here. You can lock the zoom, so right now it's locked at 18, and that will keep this uh, ring here locked in place. If you unlock it, you can twist the ring to zoom, and you can twist from uh, 200 all the way back down to 18 just like that. You also have a focus ring right here, and you also have a little window, and that will give you your focal length index and distance scale, so as you can twist that, uh, you can look through there and see, so set it up to infinity. Uh, over here on the side, we have uh, manual to auto switch right there, manual switch. You also have vibration reduction, so you can just simply turn that on and off. Then finally, you have a normal or active, and that's just the different modes of the vibration reduction can be active in. Now we're moving on to the D7000 itself. So here is everything that's included in the D7000 box. Of course, we have the camera body, which we'll take a closer look at in just a moment. Uh, for documentation, you have a quick start guide here, which is quite thin and manageable and uses pictures and everything like that. Uh, it gives you this, at least the version that I have here, has English as well as Spanish. And then we also have the much larger volume right here, uh, again, one English, one Spanish, and that's if you really want to get into details about what this camera can do. Of course, uh, here's additional information about the warranty program that's included. Uh, you also have this little adapter cable. This is simply an AV cable, so one end plugs into the camera, the other end can plug into television, uh, so you can play back video or pictures. Uh, the camera also has a HDMI out. I should double check that I'm saying this right. Yes, also has an HDMI out cable you can use to connect. Uh, if you want to do high def, uh, that cable is not included. Uh, you get a shoulder strap here right there with the Nikon logo on it, like so. You also get a USB, so standard USB-A to mini USB plug right there. Uh, again, to plug and connect to your computer so you can transfer footage and the like. Uh, here is an AC cable. So a power cable here, and that will plug into this uh, battery charger. So plugs in there directly if you want. Uh, but they've also provided this adapter. So if you don't want to use a plug in, you can plug this adapter straight into the wall. It's also kind of versatile, which I like. So you can plug it in like that and plug it in directly. And then there's a little release switch there, so you can rotate it 90 degrees to plug it in the wall that way. So pretty handy. Flip that back. And of course, that is to charge the included lithium ion battery, which is right here, which slots into the charger just like that. Nice and simple. Finally, this little plastic piece is actually a cover for the eyepiece on the camera in case you remove that rubber grommet. And here's a look at the Nikon D7000 body, and uh, this is sort of where the main part of the show is. Uh, this is going to be really high level. I'm only going to go over the basic functions of the camera. There are lots of knobs and buttons. This is a DSLR. It's made for professional photography. Um, so we just want to really give you guys a closer look at it here and hopefully not betray too much of my lack of knowledge about higher end DSLRs. Uh, that being said, of course, at the back you have your 3-inch LCD screen. It does have a nice protective cover over it. It's plastic, uh, and that's going to keep it from being scratched, and it also gives some separation between the LCD itself, so very nice to have that. 
for protection. It is surrounded by lots of uh, various buttons for performing various functions for the camera. Of course, you actually have the eyepiece located directly above that. Uh, you're going to have an on-screen display here that you use to navigate through the different functions of the camera, as well as, of course, the surface-mounted buttons for actually accessing those. Uh, you have a jog dial right here at the back that's going to be within easy reach of your thumb as you're holding the camera, like so. You also have another jog dial up here at the front of the camera that has a little red accent right below it. Again, both of those easily accessible by your thumb and your pointer finger. Uh, at the top here, you have, of course, the button to take a picture uh, and focus. Also to turn the entire camera off or on. Uh, and then you have uh, another LCD display here up at the top that's going to give you additional information such as uh, your focal length, your ISO, uh, and uh, how many pictures you have remaining on your SD card. Uh, at the front here, you have uh, your actual hub there to connect your lens. Uh, it's got a protective cover on it. I'm going to remove this for just a second because uh, if you are swapping out lenses, you want to keep as dust and any other contaminants out of that chamber. So uh, do it quickly and make sure you're in a dust-free environment when you're doing that. Uh, you have a release uh, button next to that, of course. At the top here, you have a pop-up flash. Um, actually, it will not even pop up without the battery in, So, um, but the flash button is over here on the side. Uh, another uh, selector dial here up at the top, and this is uh, sort of your primary dial for switching between manual and auto mode. Uh, you also get a secondary dial right below it for some additional modes. Uh, over on this side is a little uh, latch here, and that's where you can connect. Uh, well, actually, you got one on either side, so you can connect your shoulder strap. And then I will also go over these connectors here. So there's your AV out for that included AV out cable, uh, your USB connector. Uh, there's your mini HDMI plug right there. So you get an adapter and you can uh, connect this directly to uh, a monitor or HDMI enabled television. And that's where you'll be able to get actual high definition output since this camera can do 1080 video recording. In here you have a discrete mic input, which is fantastic, especially if you're going to be doing video, to have a separate mic to not have to use the one built into the camera. Also you have a GPS uh, connector right there, so you can get an external GPS device, connect that in, then you can geotag your photos. On the bottom, uh, we have of course a standard mount here for a tripod. Uh, you also have the battery compartment right there. I do like that the battery compartment is separate from the SD card compartment because um, it's nice to be able to swap out the SD card without turning the camera off. Of course, the battery, when installed, has a little latch that holds it in place, and you just slide that over to pop it out. And then uh, finally, over on this, car this side, as you can see, we have dual SD card slots. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Nikon D7000 DSLR camera kit. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, where you can find more tech videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.